Okay, so I just logged on to the server and apparently somebody started a raid in my village and uh, and 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 left me and left me some of that raid. Um this is my first raid ever. I've never done a raid. It's not even a full raid. I guess technically since it's already, you know, there's only two mobs remaining. There's one. There we go. And now I don't even know what I don't even know how many how many of them like uh the groups have even been here. I don't know if this was an accident on somebody's part or if I was being pranked by giving a, a raid as soon as I logged on because I didn't have any stuff on me. Ah! There he is! Ah! Ah! No! 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 Okay, is there another one? Yes, there's another one. Oh my gosh. Run, 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 run. Get up high. Oh no. Whoever did this, I'm not happy with you. My animals better not get hurt. Oh, look at the witches. They're trying to get in my village. No, I'm sorry. I I, I don't want any witches living in my town. I apologize. Hopefully, oh, no. If there's any of the little... My mind is I is a blank right now. The little the little sprite pixie meanie thingies. If there's any of those, I have to run away. Cause this is the villager breeder. I don't want any of those killing my uh villagers. Did they bust down doors? Oh no, I heard one. No no, there's a wizard. Okay, we gotta run. We gotta run. I don't want anything to happen to the villagers. Come on, run, run, run. All right, we can handle this. We've got a good sword. We got this. Sir, where'd you go? There you are. Oh, you're, it's a nice balcony, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really nice balcony. Are you gonna be the last one? Is this the last village hero? Yes! Woo! Okay, well, that was my first raid ever and I was totally forced into that. Um. I'm gonna find out who did this. Oh, you, you, ooh. Come on, I'm the village hero. You guys are supposed to throw stuff at me? Come on, throw stuff at me. Come on. I hate you. All of that work, all that work, fine. Welcome, welcome back everybody to another episode here on the Adults Play Minecraft server. I am the Berserking Corgi and what a way to start a video than uh, popping into the server and being right in the middle of a raid that was not expected <laughs> and it was indeed my very first raid ever. So I survived thankfully and so did the villagers below me but that kind of brings uh, me to what we are going to be doing today. I need to start getting some merchants in my village and unfortunately it seems that all of the merchants that are around the area have been zombified. So I have asked DSP to help me catch some of these zombified merchants so that we can cure them and get them trading and moving around so that we can get some advice about Master Chicken and find out what's going on. We need to do that as soon as possible so let's get going. Channel your inner rage. My inner nice. rage. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Do it again. Cut. <laughs> Ship it. Okay, hold on. I got to take off my hat. Got to look cool. Okay. Right. Okay. You give me an action shot. Give me a beautiful action shot. Okay. Ah, rah, rah. Wait, what am I shop? <laughs> don't be a villager. Don't be a villager. Um, um, um. All right, I got one zombie villager. You got one? I got one. I got one. I got one. Hey, sir. Sploosh. Eat your apple. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Ah! I'm not wearing my armor. I'm totally going to die down here. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, he'll... Gotta gear up again. Yeah. He'll, uh, he'll still follow. Okay. Just gotta, you gotta really wiggle strong. your little butt in front of him and be like, look at my tushy. 
Oh, there's another one back here. Come here, buddy. No, not nope. me. He's, he's Follow him. You. He's after you. Come here. Come here. Right over here. This is going to be your forever home. And there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so that's two. You know, I think that's pretty, pretty amazing. We actually accomplished something. I know. What we... What we aimed to do, we actually did, which that is amazing for us. I mean, combined as a group, because normally we just aimlessly wander around for hours and don't accomplish anything. Well, we always have a plan. It always just goes very badly. <laughs> it usually goes seriously badly. Yeah. Oh, right. So thank you, DSP, again, for helping me. It's always a blast to collab with him. But as you guys might have seen, uh, once these guys were cured, they kind of assigned themselves some jobs. And I kind of want to be in charge of what jobs they are going to have. So that means I need to go break every single workstation in the village. So, yeah, let's go do that. Okay, guys. So I started moving a couple of the villagers over and... I went through the town and broke all of those, uh, um, like barrels and the tables and stuff that would assign jobs. And then I thought about it. Why am I trying to assign them jobs? Do I want to trade with them? I mean, I want information from them and I don't mind if other people come and trade with them, but generally speaking, no. Whoops. Uh, I'm, I'm not really looking to trade with them. So. Um, I'm just going to go ahead, put everything back where I had it before, move these guys up into areas over in the marketplace, and I think that'll be that. I don't know why I was thinking, you know, that I had to trade with them, because I really don't have to. Oopsie. <laughs> so, that is the plan. Um, I just set up this uh, little track. I didn't have enough um, powered rail to get them all the way over there. So I'm doing this in, in two stages, <laughs> pretty much. So all I'm doing is setting up the track. Oops, and I forgot to um, put down a lever. There we go. Put a lever right there, like that. There we go. Oh, and I also didn't break this out. Oh my gosh. I don't move these guys very often, so I, I admit I am not the best. I am not the best villager mover. Okay, sir. Let's get you on this track. There you go. Okay. I want to chase after him. Oh, no. Well, that happened. Okay, well, you want, he'll come back. He won't come back. He's going to fall back in that hole and stay there. Um, I realized I didn't even set up, like, somewhere to put him down here. So we'll just set up a little spot for him right here. Okay, so let's try this again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I literally never move villagers. This is a whole a whole new ball game for me. All right, let's go. No, no, no. I want you to go this way. There we go. Okay. I want to follow him and I want to shut this one off just in case. Okay, he did go in there fine. So, break that. Cover him up for now. Just in case, you know, it, nighttime sneaks up on me. Turn that off. Oh, I need to switch. I need to switch this over. There we go. And now let's try getting this other guy over there. So far we have, I think, a farmer, a fisherman, um, uh, some sort of smith. I didn't, I guess I, I wasn't paying enough attention to see if he was like a weaponsmith, maybe. And put that there and bloop and we'll break these we'll see what this guy is you you are a fisherman oh he's ready to go well he was 100 percent ready to go nice 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 and he's in his spot perfect okay so now all i need to do is just replicate this uh, going up to the market to get them from here to up there shouldn't be too shouldn't be too bad. This didn't take very long, and um, yeah, and then we'll find little places for their to be their shops. I'm kind of looking forward to that because um, that means I actually get to decorate some of the shops for a specific purpose now instead of just randomness. 
So that might be fun. So we'll see what happens. Okay, well, I managed to get it all done. I got the villagers in their little places, and I even decorated their little shops up. I managed to get most of them to uh, change uh, their what they were, uh, but I couldn't get them to accept beds for some reason. But I did manage to set this guy as a butcher, and I, I just made a little shop for him. I also put an iron door here to help protect him a little bit from... Uh, any roaming enemies that might come about um, through this door here. I managed to get this guy to uh, stay as an armor. He kept flipping his trades. He, he, this guy, ooh, this guy. But anyway, <laughs> I set up a little shop here for him. It's a little bit kind of blacksmithy, but I really like it. I like it. I like it. Um... To move on to the next guy, remember these two down here were both fishermen? Well, I managed to get this guy to be a leather worker. So that's so cool. I set up this little shop for him and I think, I love it. I love it how he has the little leather items set out. It's so cool. And finally, finally, we have the fisherman in here. He's still a fisherman. <laughs> oh, and um... I also set up this uh, uh, fireplace. I turn, uh, I uh, put a bucket of water on it to put the fire out, and I put these little fishies on it. Um, there was a joke at spawn for a while where, because our bridges are all made of the fireplaces for the uh, at the beginning, for the most part, and people would put fish and stuff on top of them. So I thought it was, you know, a cool little idea to make it look like a sales area. But I think we have a good variety of um, merchants now so that hopefully we can start getting some information in on about uh, Master Chicken. So I think with that, let's go ahead and sign out for today. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to give it a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. If you already follow me over on Twitter, Instagram, or my Discord, I release sneak peeks, teasers, and occasionally pictures of my puppy dog, B.C. I am the Berserking Corgi. Have a fantastic day.